just we kind of knew it was going to be a, a tough battle between you and Sedona. That was kind of what everybody was keying on, and it was. Y'all kind of, like as Coach said, y'all kind of neutralized each other at times. What was it like going head-to-head to her with her? And also, you know, how did you feel like you finished the ball game with that uh, eight points in the fourth quarter? Um, it was really great. It was a fun game today, just playing against someone like that. I haven't really played against no one her size or, like, her length or whatever this whole season. So just having that matchup, it was like – just prepare me for the pros. I feel like she's a pro. She's an amazing player. Uh, she's amazing on the court. Um, just giving her her flowers, but I feel like we prepared each other tonight. Just giving the coaches and stuff a different look on the things we can do against each other. And as far as finishing the game out, I feel like I just gave my team what I could just to win the ball game. No matter if it was on defense or offense, I just did what I could to win. Stephon here in the front. Lauren, I guess for y'all, you know, going off of that, you knew the, the tough matchup that Jess was going to have and, and the way she was able to play, I guess. What kind of give you guys the, the continued confidence to, to go to her and know that, you know, she could close out the game the way that she did? Yeah, um, you know, Jess is our go-to player. Like, it's been like that since the beginning of the season. So it didn't change because we were playing Sedona. We were still going to give her the ball and, you know, play off of her and um, do what we regularly do. Nothing really changed. You're in the back. Lauren, uh, what's this experience been like in the WBIT for, for you and this team these uh, these last two games? Yeah, um, I think it's been it's been pretty cool. Um, just having an opportunity to play in the postseason is always like a really big thing. Um, and I, this is like the first year for this tournament, and I think they do a really good job um, with like seating and like you know making sure like a lot of fans come out to um, like home fans come out to the games and stuff. So. I have a lot of friends who play, are playing in it right now, and they're also having good experiences. So it's pretty cool, especially getting to play at the Hunt and stuff. In the front. Aaron, I think it was the first possession of the fourth quarter. You went straight to the rim, attacked, and, and scored right there. It, it seemed a lot like the Ole Miss game here with the post players just kind of taking over. What was the message coming into that quarter after it had gotten pretty tight? Um, Coach Sims said that we needed to go big, and we needed to get the, to the rim. We were um, settling for a lot of three-pointers. And we have great three-point shot um, shooters, but, you know, they weren't, they weren't falling. So he just told me and Jess to just dominate down there with the ball. Ben here in the front. Jess, we, we obviously don't know if this was your last game here at the Hump, uh, but, you know, if, if it was, you, you're your sixth year in the program. What do you say about the way you, you know, left it all out there uh, here today for this team? Um, it was special just knowing that even though this was our last game here, we put it off with a win. I mean, it was a good crowd tonight. Shout out to our fans, best fans in the country, hands down. And just, I don't know, I've had fun. I mean, I don't want to cry, y'all. I get emotional, but I've had a lot of fun here. And I'm I'm happy that we can win. Uh, this is for uh, Amy Claire. Um, your atmosphere is increasing what we experienced today. How much of a factor was it to have state fans here and just really cheering you guys on? Um, for me, it was amazing because just like running out um, before the game, running out, the fans are there cheering for us. So it just give us, gives us an extra boost. Like, okay, we got people here for us that want to see us do well. They're going to be here for us no matter what. So it was amazing. Step on here in the front. For Jess or Aaron or both of you, you know, we, we didn't see near you know, too much today, but you know, in that Georgia Tech game and the seven minutes that she had today, she played – really well. How have you guys kind of seen her grow the way she's battled against you guys in practice and kind of taken advantage of you know the opportunities she's got the last couple games? Um, I would say Nir has been having big practices. So I think it just translates to the game. When her numbers call, she's always ready. And she's been playing re like really big minutes in this tournament. So I'm very proud of her. Yeah, definitely. And I just feel like this is the future. Um, she's the future for Mississippi State. So just her getting out there, having no matter how many minutes, whether it's one, ten, no matter what she's doing, I feel like she's showing the people that, yeah, we have a future here. We have a post player, a strong post player. And me going against her, Aaron going against her, we're making each other better. Not only are we getting her better, but she's getting us better. And she's preparing us for something way bigger than just college basketball. Lauren, your Kayla had five steals uh, as well as 15 points here in this game. Uh, obviously, she announced uh, earlier in the week about her coming back for next year. Uh, what's it been like just sort of having her by your side in the backcourt, and uh, what's, what's she going to bring as, as a leader in uh, next year's group? Yeah, I think yeah. it's just been fun playing with her. Um, she can get, she can score at will, so um, just having somebody like that on the court that you know is on your right or left, um, especially as a point guard, it makes the game a lot easier for me um, coming here playing with all these people has made the game a lot easier. You know, don't have to force shots, don't have to do all that. Um, so, yeah.
Lauren, after you know the tough end of the year that y'all had, and then obviously the disappointing news that y'all didn't get in the big tournament. I mean, what's your thoughts on how y'all have attacked these first two games and you know the last week or so of practice too? Yeah, I think everybody was just like. We all felt some type of way, of course, because we didn't make it to the NCAA tournament. Obviously, that was the goal. But um, I think we just had to change our mindset, um, definitely, because coming in WBIT, we didn't want to come in here and like lose this tournament. Like that wasn't like that's not going to be a good look for us. So you know, we wanted to come out and we wanted to compete. Like Coach Sam said, it doesn't matter what you do, you have to come out and compete. And I think everybody just changed their mindset of just like finishing out the year and competing.